How to customize the Shopify Spotlight theme. Now the Shopify Spotlight theme is a free theme and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize it and I can assure you guys that even if you are a complete beginner by the end of this video you are actually going to get a good looking Shopify Spotlight store. Now to get started you will have to head over to your Shopify dashboard and then you will have to go to online store on the left right here. Once you are on the online store, you will basically have to add the spotlight theme onto your store and you can do that by clicking on the three dots right here. I'm sorry, by clicking on add theme right here and then clicking on visit theme store. And this is basically going to load up the whole Shopify theme store and right here on the explore themes and on the free right here, we can then actually find the spotlight theme and it's actually the first one right away. So just click on spotlight and right here you will then have to click on try theme. And this will basically just add the theme onto your Shopify dashboard. However, we are still not done yet. We actually still do need uh, to activate the, uh, activate the spotlight theme. So by default, it's, n it, it's, not actually act it's not actually activated for the online store. But to activate it, you will just have to refresh the site. Then you will just have to click on publish right here on the right. Usually it takes around one to two minutes to actually download the theme onto your store. So just click on publish. And now it is basically going to be added onto your live store. And once you've added the spotlight theme onto your live store, you can just click on customize on the bottom right right here. And now this will basically open up the whole store. Now I will go through everything from top to bottom. So no worries, it is not that complicated. Now to get started, we can actually customize the header right here. The header is the top part basically. And to customize the header, you will just have to select it. And then you can set different kind of things like desktop logo position. So basically you can change up the logo right here. Now as you can see, as of right now, the logo is actually the default Shopify logo. But if you want to change the logo, you will just have to head over to this settings settings wheel right here you will just have to click on it and this right here are basically the theme settings now the theme settings is kind of a it's basically kind of a style guide for your whole website where you can set kind of default parameters like logo colors typography and so on so to actually add your own custom logo you will just have to click on logo right here select image and then you will just have to upload your logo and if you don't already have a logo for your Shopify store you can just watch my video right here where I show you how to actually create a logo for completely free but in my case I will just upload my logo to my store and as you can see we can also change up things like desktop logo width so for example we can make this bigger if we want to yeah or I think I will actually make it smaller and once you're done with customizing the logo, you can get back to the sections right here. And as you can see, we can now customize everything. We can, for example, make it in center or also middle center and so on. So basically you have all sorts of different options which you can play around with. Now as for the menu right here, if you want to, you can actually add a menu. So as you can see, if you are just going to either just select one of the menus or going to create a new menu under this tab right here, we can actually add a menu to our page if we want to. However, I personally think for the spotlight page, it is kind of normal that there isn't going to be a menu. However, if you want to have a menu, for example, which is going to redirect the person to the FAQ, shipping information and so on, then you can obviously also add that menu. You. however I will just as for this video I will not go for it now as for the header one other thing which is important to mention in my opinion is that if you actually want to add an announcement bar so basically just this bar right here on top then you will just have to click on add section right here and then you can either just add a custom liquid with which is basically just code or an announcement bar which I would actually recommend you to do I personally really like the announcement bars and I think it, it can help with a lot of things obviously conversion rate if you're going to write something like uh, so for example to actually edit the announcement bar you will just have to click right here welcome to our store and you can write something like 20% uh, off until Wednesday and this will basically just build up scarcity and can also improve the conversion rate obviously you can just play around with this now generally I would recommend you to just drag the announcement bar on top of the page as you can see right now it is kind of under the menu and to actually drag the announcement bar on top you will just have to click on this button right here and then you can then you will just have to drag it on top 
Now as for the main part, the template part basically, we can also customize this in many different ways. So as, as you can see as of right now, we only have one block right here. And to actually change the perspective of our online store, we will have to go on the top right. And now we can, for example, also see the mobile shop. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is how this is going to look like on mobile. So quite a big difference. And it is always important to keep in mind that most of the people that are going to visit your store will actually visit your store on mobile. So please make sure to also customize your store for mobile if it's not already customized by default. Generally, Shopify does a pretty good job with that, but always make sure to check double. Now as for the sections right here, if we want to, we can also add new sections. So basically, for example, I can add a section for a slideshow let's say so we'll just add this and as you can see now a section got added and if we now want to edit this section we will just have to select it and then on the left first of all we can upload an image so let me quickly do that i will just upload a test image and by the way i'm just building up an example store this isn't actually my store I'm just going to use some random images and as you can see now that we've added our images we can also edit the heading right here and by the way if you want to just delete the heading and if you don't want to have it you will just have to make this blank and now it is going to be deleted however i will just put in an example text right here and then if we want to we can change the heading size to large medium as well as small i will just leave it at small uh, at, at medium my bad and as for the subheading we can also put in something right here now as for the button label this is really important in my opinion so basically you can you can link all kind of sorts of different things onto this button onto this button and to do that you will just have to go to button link right here and then you can basically select if you either want to link this button to collections products pages blogs and so on now let's for example say that I will just connect this button to my oversized t-shirt. So I will just do that and now whenever someone is going to click onto this button, they're going to be redirected to the t-shirt page right here. And by the way, no worries, I will show you how to actually customize this page later on in the video. Now to now get back onto our shop, I will just click right here onto my, onto my logo and now we are back on our online shop. And if we now want to add another section, we can also do that, for example, we can add this kind of multi-row section if we want to and to actually drag this section around. So let's for example say that I want to have this multi-column section on top of this slider right here and to do that we will once again just have to head over to the menu on the left and we will then have to drag this on top. So I will just leave it right here. So right now when someone is going to visit a store, first of all they are going to see all of the products, then they are going to see a multi-column section where you can for example display all sorts of different reviews, images and so on. And then they are also going to see a banner which is going to encourage them to basically buy from our website. And to now edit the product page we will just have to head over to any of these product sections right here. So I will just click on my oversized t-shirt and if we now want to change things up a bit for example if we want to edit anything we can do that by simply just selecting these elements and we can then um, change everything on the left but if we now want to add more elements to this we can always just click on add section right here and we can then for example say let's say that we want to add kind of a collapsible content so as of and then we can for example put in an faq section right here so let's quickly edit the heading right here and that's going to change this to faq and then as for the first collapsible row i'm just going to rename this to how long does shipping take and then as for the answer i will just write in one to two weeks depending on your destination and by the way shopify recently enrolled a new ai feature where you can basically generate all of the content using ai which you can also use if you don't want to write yourself now one other thing which we will have to do as for this collapsible row section is changing the icon right here so for example as for this is shipping i will just change this icon to maybe a truck so we'll just select truck and as you can see this for example looks pretty nice and like this you can basically bump up your conversion rate because the customer is actually going to get more information about your shop and more information about your products now thank you for watching if you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any more questions as always you can leave them in the comments down below and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible